Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the human ear model. All right, so the first part that you should look at is this external part of your ear. This is called your auricle, and humans have a very uniquely shaped ear compared to a lot of different animals. Um, different parts of the auricle you should know is, one, this outer rim that is right here. This is called your helix. All right, it's just this outer rim going posterior, and this leads to your lobe, which is your lobe down here. So these two are part of your auricle. All right, also part of the external ear is this channel right here. All right, this is where sound's gonna enter your ear. This is called your external acoustic meatus. So you might remember that term from when we talked about the temporal bone. So external acoustic meatus. All right, so sound's gonna enter through here and then eventually hit this. This is commonly referred to as your eardrum, but in anatomy, we do have a name for it. It's called your tympanic membrane. And this is gonna vibrate when sound hits it, which is gonna send sound to your malleus, then to your incus, and eventually to your stapes, right here, which is then gonna shake the oval window. All right, so that was all part of the middle ear. Now we're gonna talk about the inner ear. And there's a couple parts in the inner ear here. Your inner ear is also known as the labyrinth, and labyrinth means maze. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Labyrinth, where David Bowie was chasing Jennifer Connelly around, but he was chasing her around a giant maze. That's what a labyrinth is. And you can see why, there's tons of open spaces, there's a lot of different ways it can go, but all of this do have function. So all this labyrinth holds different structures used for hearing and for equilibrium. All right, so up here, we have our semicircular canals, which are gonna hold your semicircular ducts. And this is mostly being used for equilibrium. Well, over here you have your cochlea, and cochlea refers to a snail shell, and you can see where the name came from. And your cochlea is going to hold your cochlear ducts, which is going to be responsible for hearing. Um, also part of the inner ear, we have this structure right here. This is called your pharyngotympanic tube, also known as your auditory tube, also known as your eustachian tube, and this helps equalize the middle ear. All right, so when you pop your ears, this is part of what's responsible for doing that. So this is helping equalize the pressure in here. And the last structure, you can see where the nerve is leaving. All right, right here. This is your internal acoustic meatus, and this is what's gonna allow the nerve to leave and escape to your brain.